Alrighty, what's going on you guys? I'm back today with another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video, of course, and this is a pre-recorded gameplay, and I just wanted to let you know that before the before I do my, my actual commentary, I just want to let you know that I did forget about uploading, and it was like, it's like 9.30, 9, it's like 9.20 right now, and I was like, holy crap, I've got to get a video up, and I remember I had this video on standby for a rainy day, and this is definitely a day that is pouring rain, I am literally, oh my gosh, this video is going to go up like two hours, two hours later, I know for some of you guys it's not that big of a deal, you guys are like, oh wow, you know, just, wow, you missed an upload, it's not that big of a deal, well, I just want to see how, like, how long I can go without missing a day, because, I don't know, I just think it'll be sick, I think, I think seeing if I can go, like, a really, really long amount of days without missing a day of uploading would be super sick, so, Anyways, this is some domination using the Dark Matter Locust. I actually am getting a lot better at sniping. Like, I've been getting these, like, well, sometimes I have these, I have games where I'm on and I have games where I'm off. So, sometimes I do good sniping, sometimes I don't do too great. But, this happened to be one of the games where I do pretty good. I think I dropped, like, a 40 bomb, which, I'm a red gun player, so definitely, like, for me being a, you know, like, sniping and being a red gun player, I think that's pretty good. So, yeah, but today, uh, I just kind of want to talk about a couple things. So first of all, the reason the reason I upl I'm uploading so late is because I did forget, but I forgot because I was actually doing something. I was playing dubs with my friend Prex, and I know you guys remember Prex because I talked about him in one of my other videos about how he had like eight, 86 subscribers. Like, he got like 86 subscribers, so that's like uh, 24 subscribers in one day, because he was at 62, um, one day, and then, like, throughout the night, he got 86, because he got all these shout-outs from his, like, clan people or whatever, well, um, now he's at 101, well, I saw that he was at 101, I woke up this morning and saw that he was at 101, I was like, holy crap, I texted him, I was like, dude, you're at 101 subscribers, he's like, no, and I was like, yeah, I swear, and he's like, holy crap, and I'm like, what, he said, uh, he said, I haven't, I haven't even put up, uh, or I don't even have my montage ready yet, and I thought it was kind of funny, because, like, I know he didn't know that he was gonna hit 100 that, that fast, so he wasn't, like, he wasn't, like, really thinking about the montage too much, he was just thinking about, like, videos he can put up, and thinking about playing some competitive with his clan, and he totally just, like, it hit him, like, a, I swear, guys, he did not know it was coming, he literally, like, one second, he was at 62, the next second, he was at 100, like, who just, who just knows that's going to happen? No one knows it's going to happen. It's just, it's insane that he got to 100 so freaking quick. Um, but yeah, so anyways, that was kind of off topic just, just a little bit. But uh, I was playing with him. Um, we were doing some dubs, like competitive uh, 2v2s. And our very first game, we were actually matched with a person from his clan. So that was pretty funny. And the and then the other person was just like one of the person from his clan's friends, just like I'm Prex's friend. Well, the the other guy in the clan uh, had another friend as well, and so uh, it was me and Prex versus uh, his clan member and uh, his clan member's friend, and it was pretty it was pretty good. They won. Um, I'm not I'm not gonna try to tell you that we won or anything. I'm not gonna try to lie to you guys. They won fair and square. They were just they just out outgunned us really they beat us um into gunfights and all that stuff but um anyways i was like playing with him and i was having a really good time and then like two other guys from the clan joined and they started like playing uh 4v4 so like i don't know like i was kind of mad that um i was kind of mad that i stopped like playing like caden uh prex stopped playing dubs with me but then i mean i kind of I don't know, I kind of got over it, because, like, I just kind of started listening, and, um, listening to them play 4v4, and I was just kind of playing some, uh, public match, so I di it didn't really bother me that much anymore, I was just kind of chilling out, playing some pubs, and then it hit me, I was like, oh, crap, you know, I have to upload, blah, 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 you guys already know that story, and, yeah, but, um, the guy that we are playing from his clan is actually, like, apparently one of the really, really, really good, um, players or whatever, so I was like, um, I got really nervous, because, uh, Prex told me that, like, that was one of their, like, really good players, so I, I was, like, getting really nervous, I was like, holy crap, like, we're about to get destroyed, um, I don't know how good his teammate is either, blah, 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 and I actually, uh, I actually got some pretty nice plays, I didn't do necessarily too well KD-wise, but I did get some pretty nice plays, even though we did lose, um, but, honestly, I was pretty, 
I mean, that was, like, my first game against the guy who I actually know is good. And I was actually really scared, like I said, the whole entire time. I was, like, shaking a little bit just because I was scared. Like, I don't know. It, it's really stupid to think about, honestly. But I was I was definitely terrified because I didn't know how good this guy was. And then I didn't want Prex to get, like, mad or um, angry at me or whatever because I wasn't doing too good. And then, and then him just, like, shunned me or whatever you want to call it. So I was making sure I tried my hardest and, you know, he actually wasn't mad because, you know, neither of us really did that amazing. But, uh, yeah, so that happened. And also, also, I did go and work today, like I said, like I told you guys I would. And I made 60 bucks. Like, I, I told you guys I'd make about 60 or $70, and I made 60 bucks. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's, like, their set price because I've worked for them two two other times before this one was raking their mom's yard because their mom was like moving out or whatever and they were like cleaning up to resell it or whatever so i raked her yard but her yard was a mess guys like her like it had just rained and her leaves were like four inches thick so it was like wet leaves that were like super thick stacked me just raking them and putting them in bags it was really hard um actually and i made 60 bucks off that and it actually phew, i think it took me like six or seven hours so i i got paid like around around ten dollars an hour around ten dollars an hour anyways um and then i worked for them another time doing the same thing i did today which is like these i forget what they're called but there's these like really annoying um like little weed things that grow but they're like plants they're not weeds they're, they're plants and they just they spread everywhere they're like wild and they're apparently really annoying. I don't, I don't know about it, all that because I don't really know about plants, but that's what that's what she said. So I was like, okay, yeah, sure, I'll dig them up. I did that today and the last time I worked with them. The last time I worked with them, I made sixty dollars as well, but I only worked for like four hours, so I made fifty about fifty about fifteen dollars an hour working uh, that time. And then this time I made about twelve dollars an hour because I was working for about five hours and made sixty dollars. But guys, either way, that's a quick 60 bucks, and, you know, you're, I complained about it at the beginning, I'm not gonna lie, I was like, oh, I really don't wanna do this, yada yada yada, and then I got paid, and, you know, I was all done with, you know, doing my work, and I was like, wow, that was totally worth it, like, I don't, I, like, I don't even, like, feel, like, tired or anything about working, I don't feel like I don't wanna work, because, like, I'm done, like, it's all over with, I freaking finished working, I got paid, and now I, now it feels great, so, I don't know, that's kind of the mentality I have whenever I go into things that I don't necessarily want to do. I'm like, well, once they're over, well, things that I don't want to do that have an upside to them. Because, you know, I, I say, like, you know, once it's over or whatever, I'm going to have, uh, you know, I'm going to have that benefit. Whatever the benefit is, whether it's money or food or, you know, hanging out with someone or something or doing something fun or whatever. There's, you know, sometimes benefits to doing things you don't necessarily want to do, and the benefits are always awesome. But, uh... Yeah, so 60 bucks, pretty pretty psyched about that. And then uh, around 12, 12.30, um, they actually went and picked me up lunch. And uh, I took a little break and ate some lunch and then got right back to work. And I don't know, it was just, it, was, it honestly wasn't even that bad. You know, I thought it'd be like really horrible because I had done it before and it was like, it was just really tedious. And the last time I didn't have gloves either. So the last time I was literally just like pulling these like weeds with like some of them had some have thorns on them, some don't, just pulling them up with my hands, and I, like, I had, like, these sores and blisters on my hands and cuts, and it, it sucked, and this time I didn't have that, so this time was definitely all in all better, even though I did work for a little bit longer, it was just a little bit better, and it is one of my dad's clients, because my dad does construction, so, like, he has, you know, people that want him to do work inside of his house, but they also have, like, yard work, and they're, they're not going to ask him to do it, so they're like, oh, you have a son, don't you? Yeah, well, he can do it, so, that's kind of the upside of, you know, having a dad that does construction, I guess, you know. Uh, you go, go to people's houses that, you know, need need work done with their house. I've actually gotten paid $20 before for freaking sitting in the truck one time while my dad did a job. Like, they, they were like, give your son 20 or whatever, and he was like, okay, and he gave he gave me 20 bucks, and I was like, oh, okay. So, I'm, like, I literally sat in the truck with his phone and just, like, watched YouTube and played games on his phone and all that stuff. Like, it was it was so simple. Like, I literally did nothing, just... I don't know, it's awesome, and also the fact that whenever I grow up, I'm actually gonna, like, have all of these, like, skills, I'll be able to freaking paint my own walls without having to call in a painter, I'll be able to fix my own deck without having to call in, 
you know, a construction worker or something like that. I'll be able to do a lot of stuff by myself without having to call people. I'll save a lot of money. Uh, so, I mean, honestly, it's pretty great. So, that's the upside of, you know, being able to, being able to, uh, go, go and work with your father if he's a construction worker. Like, guys, I literally made 60, 60 easy bucks. Like, I, I don't even think about how bad, how, like, how much I hated it before. Like, I hated it whenever I woke up. Now I'm like, why did I even hate that? Like, it's all over and it's all done and over with now. And I'm just chilling with 60 bucks sitting in my, uh, jar. I have about 500 now or something like that, and I'm going to save it up for something. I'm not too sure what I'm going to use it on yet, but whenever the day comes and I see something that I really want or that I really need, you know, I'll have the money for it, hopefully. So that's why I'm really good at saving my money. I don't know what it is. I don't know where I got it from, but saving my money, I'm just I'm just really good at doing it. Not even going to lie to you right now. <clears throat> but, yeah, today was, a, I mean, today was an all right day. I still have to read three chapters in my book, I don't know when that's going to happen, but, you know, it's not even that big of a deal, because we're, we're probably going to freaking get into class and just watch the three chapters, but in movie form anyways, so, really, who's even, who even cares, right, I'm going to, I'm going to get the, uh, information one way or another, but, yeah, this is a pretty, pretty sick game, I was running low streaks, because I forgot to turn them off on search and destroy, because I'm an idiot, I literally forget to turn my streaks off all the time. It it really does annoy me, but nonetheless, that is getting or <laughs> the video is wrapping up. And I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, remember to big thumbs up on the video and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace out.